Well, hello everyone and welcome to our thoughts for the day for this week. And special thanks to Ted for all his valuable thoughts, which he's shared with us over the past three weeks. This week, we're going to be thinking about the theme of opening up the Bible. And the easiest way to introduce this theme is with it to start with a story. Uh, this story will be familiar to some of you, and it takes place on the day that Jesus rose from the dead. Two people are on a seven mile walk from Jerusalem to Emmaus, and they're chatting away about what's been going on over the past few days. Sally is going to read this passage to us now from Luke chapter 24. And as we're opening up the Bible, if you'd like to open up your Bible, it's Luke chapter 24, starting at verse 13. Or turn your phone on and have a look at it on your phone. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognising him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed, before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going further. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And when he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognised him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Okay, so we're going to um, just sort of ask each other a couple of questions now uh, about this. And so, um, Sally, thinking about the theme of opening up the Bible, which do you think would be the key verses in the passage that we've just read? Well, I think the uh, the verses where Jesus um, starts with with the Old Testament, with Moses and the prophets, and uh, explaining uh, what was said concerning himself, and then and then at the end, it it does say that um, they clear pass and and his companion, possibly his wife. Um, said that their hearts were burning within them while he talked. And I, and I think that's that's relevant too, because I think that some, sometimes when the Lord speaks, it, it touches us inside. We, we feel it. <laughs> OK, so why do you why do you think Jesus didn't just introduce himself and say who he or say who he was? Why did he want to talk about the scriptures? I think um, he he wanted to uh, to show them that what had happened was not um, had been foretold, and so he wanted them to to see that everything that had happened, even things that they thought were were um, totally uh, a, a, a desolation of all that they knew, 
um, with Jesus dying when they had thought that he was the Messiah. It was really not as they expected, and yet this was foretold, and and this is um, that that this was um, this is how he fulfilled the, the scriptures. Okay, so it's important to see the big picture. Yes. Rather than just yes. what's going yes. on yeah. uh, at that particular moment. And you mentioned that their hearts were burning when Jesus opened up the scriptures to them. So, so what does what does yeah what does that mean? What was what was being revealed to them? I, I think that that um, words that they had read before suddenly had a new meaning. Um, okay. I think words that they'd been taught, words that um, yes, that, that that they had heard suddenly Jesus brought a new perspective to it um, and and that um, spoke to them suddenly they were they were hearing and realizing that it was true yeah they didn't actually recognize him did they until he broke bread they didn't recognize him fully no. until he broke bread no. but their hearts burning within them must have given some indication that they were this some, was this was somebody really special yeah, some well something 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 was certainly happening <laughs> yeah. so one more question um the only scriptures that jesus of course had available to talk to them about were old testament scriptures um so does this say anything to us about the old testament or is the old testament less relevant now that we have the new testament as well no, all scripture, the, the, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 3.16 that all scripture is is, value, is God-breathed and valuable for, for teaching, rebuking, etc. Um, and, uh, and, and helping us. So, no, it's all equally valuable. And sometimes when we look at the Old Testament that we, maybe we've read many times, we suddenly see new insights, just as, as clear past did. Okay. Well... I think there we are for today. We've had a taster of the theme for this week and tomorrow we'll be looking at another story about Philip explaining some scripture to an Ethiopian official and we'll be thinking about how we can engage with the Bible ourselves. So let's just finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for that story of Cleopas and his companion walking the road to Emmaus and meeting with Jesus and having the scriptures revealed and opened up to them. And we pray that as we read the scriptures, either on our own or together, that uh, that same revelation might come to us, that we might begin to understand and know who you really are. So as we uh, continue our journey with you, Lord, we pray that you will speak to us through your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen.